there are some words that no one should have to hear. If it's just minus 10, I think we're okay. So that's where we're at now, calling minus 10 okay. That's because lately the wind has made it seem much colder, causing schools to close. So it's kind of like a chain of events that, that begin to accumulate. And I think each district hits that tipping point where it says, you know, there's, there's too many things. The extended cold and ample snow has forced school districts to use their five state allowed calamity days. A calamity day is a calamity day. So whether it's fog or rain or hail or locusts or snow, um, that's your day. And districts in excess will have to make that time up. There are a couple of options. You submit to the state lesson plans for those days. Kids take those packets home, they complete them, and the state will, will grant you as if you were in school. A less popular option is to add days at the end of the school year. When the sun's out and it's 75 and we're here, yeah, that has a different feel to it altogether. Districts may also shorten holidays or maybe spring break, or even petition the state to have days waived. But that point hasn't quite been reached. Not yet. We have a lot of winter left. But maybe our region has gotten a little too soft when it comes to days off. We've, we've been spoiled by some very mild winters where we've had a few cold days, a few snows, and that's been it. And perhaps everyone needs to be reminded about how folks did things in the past. Suck it up, put on a scarf, wear your gloves, we're having school today. If we have a few more winters like this, we'll be back to maybe with the way it used to be. Back when people walked to school barefoot in six feet of snow, uphill both ways. So if kids don't want to be in class at the end of June, it may be time to grin and bear it. Chris Del Camp, WNWO News.